Welcome, I'm Dragon, and for today's quick tip, I'm gonna talk about the bevel tool. This is a surprisingly large amount that I didn't know about before doing this video, but either way, let's get into it. Number one, to use the bevel tool is Command B. Number two, scroll on the mouse wheel for more bevel segments, or hit S and do it manually by moving the mouse a little ways away from the cube. Number three, M changes the width type. You can see what the width type is by going down to the bottom left and opening the panel and seeing where it says width type and you can change it from there to what you want. Number four, shift slows down the bevel movement. Number five, P allows you to change the shape of the bevel by moving the mouse. Number six, if you go down and add another material and go to viewport shading, then you can do the bevel tool. And when you bevel it, you can see that there is a material index that shows a few numbers. When you increase the numbers, you can see that it actually applies a different material where you beveled it, which is kind of cool. Number seven, C will stop overlapping when using the bevel tool. Number eight, N will cut out an area where the vertexes meet. So here's an example. Yeah, pretty cool. Number nine. Z will take you to the custom bevel type, which is flat on default, but you can change this by going down to the bottom left, opening up the bevel panel, and going down to where it says custom, and then you can then you can click on the curve and kind of turn it a little bit to create a more custom bevel. Number 10, the last and final one for this video, is shift command B is bevel vertex. But you can also do this when you hit command B, and then you hit V to do the same effect. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next quick tip. Thank you, Patreon. Bye!